himself where he bumped into a portal. He bumped into an ancient portal where now he began to see a, a, a stone where the stone was laid in that place and the Bible said he laid his head upon that stone and he dreamed. There is coming a season that we're coming into. Some of you have been wrestling with your identity. You've been wrestling with the call of God on your life. You've been in a place of decision but I hear God saying that even as you begin to, to turn and as you begin to carry out what God's called you to do, that wrestling that you feel, that wrestling that you sin, it's going to be a season that you're about to bump, bump into God. You're about to encounter God like you have never known before. You're going to begin to get in that word, which is the stone. That stone represents Jesus. It was only a type, but Jesus is that stone. He is that chief cornerstone. And Jacob began to bump into an ancient portal, and God began to open the heavens, and he began to see angels ascending and descending. You're about to come into a season of the supernatural. You're about to come into a season where you're about to see the personal heaven open up over your life. Some of you are waiting for your pastor to ordain you, credential you, but God said, I'm going to open the heavens over you, and I'm going to show you who you really are. I'm going to show you your potential. I'm going to show you the anointing on your life. you got to understand that there is a season of an open heaven that you're about to come into, and you're about to see God on the throne. He dreamed in that place. And he saw something. Some of you are about to see some things that you have never yes. seen before. God is about to open your prophetic eye. Allow you to see some things. He's about to open your, your prophetic precision. There are some of you have been looking into the word. And you said, I haven't seen that before. That revelation is opening up to me. I never heard that before. Why? Because he's opening your ear gates. To hear something different. He's opening your ears to a different sound. There is a different frequency in the spirit. You're saying, what is happening? happening and what is happening is it is causing you to contradict some things because you say my pastor or my leader I heard this and I heard that but it's contrary to what is going on in my spirit it's contrary I'm hearing you preaching one thing but I'm hearing something else in the spirit you, you speaking one thing but I'm seeing something it is God that is shifting you it is God that's opening your eyes it is God that's opening your ears to hear something fresh and something new and what is happening some of you is in a place of decision don't know what to do with it the gate of heaven is about to come open. on come on come on the gates yes. of heaven is about to open come on and see when jesus was saying that i'm building my church in the gates of hades yes. is, is, is it will not prevail against it what would jesus let us understand that if there is a gate then there has to be an opposing gate. There's a kingdom of darkness and there's a kingdom of light. So if there's a gate, there's a gate of Hades, then there has to be a gate of heaven. So the church becomes that gateway uh -huh. to heaven. The church has to be a place, a portal that supernatural activities Work happen. It. That's right. And when we go and we come in churches and there's nothing in the atmosphere, uh -huh. the presence is not conducive. Praise and worship is so whack. You know, the minstrels can't play. They're not anointed. We got to get back to a place where the minstrels and the praise and worship will get back to a place where we can ascend to the high place where we'll set a culture in the atmosphere that we will set an anointing that the king will show up we'll no longer will hear messages and no longer will hear m music that does not entertain the presence of God we need to get back to a place of worship pure worship pure minstrels pure leaders that will begin to preach words that will begin to penetrate men's heart they will preach messages that will cause men's heart to change and transform we got to come into the church let the church become a stone in the earth the church become the gateway of heaven where there's supernatural activities the church has to become a place of prayer the bible says that my house is a house of prayer but you have made it a robber's den what is he saying? 